What about my arraignment? Aren't I due in court now? No, not yet. I'm not going to answer any questions, Margo, not without my attorney present. Well, you've got visitors. Whoever it is, tell them to go away. I don't want to see anyone. You tell them. Oh. You didn't have to come down here. They're all worried about you, Barbara. We miss our Barbara. <laughs> Listen, I need your help. Jessica wants a full review of the evidence before she can make a decision. About charging Abigail? Ah, uh, she can't charge anybody with what she's got. The case won't hold up. So Abigail's safe? No, not until the case is closed. Until you find who really did it. Mom, at first I thought she had done it. I mean, Molly too, but we were just scared for it. And now we know that somebody else was in the room. Wait, I want you to look at something. This was given to Scudder by somebody. There's an inscription in it signed me. Now, we know that Abigail didn't do it. Molly didn't give it to him, but we got to find out who did. So did he have any friends at the station? Anyone that he hung out with? Well, he was pretty new at W.O.I.K., and he pretty much kept to himself. Well, didn't you say the landlady said there were women in and out? No one that she could de describe or identify. Wait a minute. Wait, Brandy, the one who seduced me. I, I, I mean... No, we know what the word means. But you want to explain to me what that has to do with you? Adam, we respect the fact that you have a right to your privacy. I am not invading his privacy. Adam, have I ever asked you for details about your relationship with Abigail or anyone else for that matter? No, No, but... you volunteered that information, whereas it does concern me because it has to do with someone I've never met, someone who's connected to a murder victim, someone who has seduced my son. Okay, Mom, look, look, Nick hired this person to come between me and Abigail. And that's all I'm going to say about it. She was hired? Yes. And you never mentioned this before because... Are you kidding? No, Adam, in relation to Scudder. I just never thought about it like that, that's all. Do you happen to know where this person might be? I mean, you go to school with her, yes? Yeah. Uh, she, she hangs out at the job underground sometimes after class. She's into Billy. <laughs> Great. First my son, then my nephew. Well, Billy understands the circumstances. Okay, let's get over to Java Underground and see if we can find this brandy. That's her, right at the bar, right there. That girl? That's the girl I chased out of Scudder's room last week. She, she was in Nick's apartment? Yeah, she got in there, and she snooped around, said he owed her money. I searched her and let her go when she said you could vouch for her. <laughs> me. I cannot stand her, and she knows that. Look, you want some answers? Follow me. This is a police investigation. Your mom's right. You identified her, and that's appropriate. Anything else might cause problems down the line. Brandy. Hey, Margo. Hey, Brandy. Wait, 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 wait. It's all right. Just let her go. We'll pick her up when we have more information. Like what? You know, I think I'm going to have another look around Scudder's room, see what Brandy was really looking for. 